Voters in northeastern Gwinnett County have approved the incorporation of a new city despite months of feasibility questions and an ongoing legal battle. That's right. So tonight, 11 Alive's Brittany Klein Peters working to get us some answers surrounding how this city could move forward. The city of Mulberry is one step closer to becoming a reality. This is really a new day for our area. After a majority of Gwinnett County voters approved the creation of it Tuesday. 57% is a very large margin considering how hotly this was debated out here. The vote comes amidst a legal battle led by Gwinnett County resident Stephen Hughes, who's challenging the city and corporation and claiming its charter is unconstitutional. Majority leader in the Georgia House of Representatives, Chuck F. Stration, who sponsored the referendum for Mulberry, says the suit should be dropped. Local uh, questions about whether a tax would be imposed. The city charter makes clear no city property tax can be can be imposed in Mulberry. Questions have also come up concerning funding for the city after a feasibility study conducted by Feldosta State University and paid for by Gwinnett County suggests Mulberry would run out of money. However, Representative F. Stration says that's just not true because it would operate on city funds just like any other community. There would be revenue that would be received by the local government, now the city of Mulberry, that would cover all costs associated with the city operation and also provide a $1.3 million budget surplus. As far as what's next, residents will vote on their five member city council coming up on the November ballot. And leaders tell me they believe soon Mulberry will no longer be just an idea. The governor by law can appoint a transition committee to review issues that the new city uh, may face and make sure that the city can get up and running um, certainly by November. Reporting in Gwinnett County, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.